Welcome to the Phoenix Skills Hub, your number one stop for video drawing tutorials. Find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic, along with great stories and more. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a deep sea diver. As always, we're going to start with the basic building blocks, paying particular attention to posing our figure to make it look like they're floating. With the building blocks in place, we'll then accessorise our diver with all the proper gear. So let's get started. Start by drawing an oval shape for the head. But as we're drawing from a three quarter angle, put a little notch in here around the eye socket. Now draw in the torso with a central line going down the middle. Add the arms, bending the right arm a little and using a basic shape at the moment for what will eventually be a harpoon gun. Bend your figure's legs. This simple little trick goes a long way to making it look like your diver is floating. When drawing your guides for the flippers, start with a basic foot and then simply add a triangle to it. It might be worth drawing in some guides for the snorkel mass before you get going on your final drawing. First, draw two circles and then join them together at the top. Next, add a bump for the nose and then add an outline to your mask shape. Add a little curve at the top and bottom of your mask and then rub out the middle lines of your circles. And there we have it. Your building blocks are in place and it's time to move on to your final drawing. Because I work digitally, I'm going to turn the opacity down on my guides to make them fainter and then create a new layer for my final lines. If you're using pencil and paper, then either draw your guides really lightly and then erase them, or overlay a second piece of paper over your guides and draw over them to save rubbing out later. Another advantage of working on a computer is that I can zoom in on areas like the head to help with the finer details. As with most times I draw faces, I'm going to start with the eyes and then I'll draw in my snorkel mask. Next, add a mouthpiece which is just a series of connected ovals. Add a strap to your mask and then flesh out the rest of the head and neck. Let's leave the top of the head for now as we'll finish it off with some long flowing hair later. Now we're moving on to the rest of the body, I'm going to start by adding a vest which is similar to body armour. Be sure to check out my body armour tutorial if you want some extra tips. Contour it to the body and draw it a little outside the outer edge of your torso. Add lots of buckles and pouches for some extra visual interest. Next we'll work on the arms. Notice how I'm not just tracing my guides, I'm angling my strokes to create muscle definition and to make sure my final drawing doesn't look like a mannequin. We'll leave the hand on the right arm for now and I'm going to leave the harpoon gun till the end. Once you've drawn in the legs and feet, embellish your flippers with a few contour lines and a curved fin at the end. Why not add some curved, contoured shapes to your diver's suit around the legs and arms? If you decide to colour your drawing afterwards, having little details like this gives you a few options with regard to your colour choice and just makes things a little more interesting. Let's zoom in again, this time to draw the right hand and the harpoon gun. Add fun little details like a spool and some rope. Let's return to the head and finish off the hair. Drawing long floating hair will really emphasise that feeling of weightlessness that we're going for. Add an oxygen tank and then draw some tubes going from the mouthpiece to the tank. Rub out any unwanted lines when you do this. Finish things off with some air bubbles and you're done. If you enjoyed this video and you're watching on YouTube, why not give us a like and for even more how to draw tutorials, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Till next time. For even more drawing tips, along with great stories and more, why not grab a subscription to the Phoenix comic by checking out the link in the description.